Bitcoin passphrases are a great way to increase the security of your Bitcoin setup, but at the same time, they are an easy way to lose your coins if you don't understand them properly. In this video, I will explain how Bitcoin passphrases actually work. When you generate a new Bitcoin wallet, you will be given a seed phrase in the form of 12 or 24 words. Those words are needed to access your Bitcoin and without them, you can consider your coins lost. One problem with these words is that if anybody else gains access to them, they also have access to your coins. And this is where passphrases can be used to our advantage. Passphrases allow you to add an additional phrase on top of your existing 12 or 24 words, and both the seed phrase and the passphrase are needed to access your coins. Here is a good way to think about it. Your seed phrase plus your passphrase together unlock your Bitcoin wallet. This allows you to keep the two parts separated. So if one is found, your wallet is not compromised. Your 12 or 24 words alone are also a perfectly functional Bitcoin wallet, which allows you to have a decoy balance. You could have a small amount of Bitcoin in your seed phrase. So if an attacker finds this, they think they have your coins, but little do they know that there is a passphrase needed to access your real Bitcoin stack. It is essential to understand that you need the seed phrase and the passphrase to access your coins. If you lose the seed phrase, your coins are gone. If you lose the passphrase, your coins are gone and you need to back them both up, preferably in metal. Now I'm going to move on to Sparrow Wallet and do a quick demonstration of how passphrases work. Here I am in Sparrow Wallet in Testnet and I'm going to create a new wallet using a passphrase. So I click on file, new wallet, then I'm going to call it passphrase wallet and I click on create. Now what I wanna do is generate a seed phrase. So I click on new or imported software wallet. I'm going to select 12 words and then I click on generate new. Now this is my seed phrase, which will essentially be key one of two to unlock my wallet. So I'm going to write down the seed phrase on a piece of paper. All right, I've written the seed phrase down and here underneath the seed, we can see I have the option to use a passphrase. So I'm going to click on this and then click on yes. And now I can insert my passphrase. The passphrase is one string of characters. So you can insert whatever you want into this box. I'm going to use four randomly generated BIP39 words. All right, so the passphrase I have entered is wall, load, aunt, and zoo. Note that the passphrase is case sensitive and you can put spaces. I don't want any spaces or any capitals, so I leave it as is. Now what I'm going to do is write down my passphrase on a separate piece of paper. All right, I've written that down. Now I'm going to click on confirm backup and it's going to ask me if I've written my words down. I have, so I click on re-enter words. Now I'm just going to re-enter my seed phrase into Sparrow Wallet. I have re-entered my seed phrase and now I just click on create key store and import key store. Now Sparrow is going to ask me to confirm my BIP39 passphrase. So I'm quickly going to type that in again. That is typed in, I'm going to click on okay and here we are in this new wallet. I click on apply and I set a password if I want. I'm gonna say no password and we can start receiving Bitcoin to this wallet. I have now sent some testnet Bitcoin to this wallet. So if I look on transactions, we can see I have 60,000 sats. Now it's important to understand that my seed phrase and my passphrase are needed to unlock this Bitcoin wallet. To demonstrate that, I'm going to close this wallet and we're going to restore from backup. So I'm going to say file new wallet and then say restore seed, create wallet. And then we want to restore a seed phrase. So I click on new or imported software wallet. Now I select 12 words and I'm going to re-enter my seed. I have re-entered my seed and now just for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to use a passphrase. So I click on create key store, import key store and apply. I'm not going to set a password. And if we look in my transactions tab, we will see the Bitcoin is not here because I didn't add the passphrase. Now I'm going to do another demonstration by restoring the wallet with the incorrect passphrase. 
So I say file, new wallet, and then I'll say restore passphrase incorrect, and I click on create wallet. Now what we wanna do is import a wallet, so I click on new or imported software wallet, and then I click on 12 words. Now I'm going to insert my seed phrase again. I have inserted my seed phrase. Now this time we're going to use a passphrase, but let's see what happens if I insert the incorrect passphrase. Here is the correct passphrase. So what I'm going to do is just make one typo by putting a capital letter. So I'm going to say wall, load, aunt, and zoo. Notice the W is capital where it should actually be lowercase. So I'm going to click on create key store, import key store, and I'm going to re-enter my passphrase one more time. I've entered that again and I click on OK and apply. Now I'm not gonna set a password and if I go to my transactions, we will see there is no Bitcoin in this wallet. And that is because I typed one letter incorrectly. Now what we're going to do is restore the correct wallet. So I click on file, new wallet, and I'll say restore passphrase correct. I click on create wallet. Then we want to import an existing wallet. So I click here. I click on 12 words. And I'm going to insert my seed phrase again. My Bitcoin seed phrase is in. I'm going to add on a passphrase and this time I'll type it correctly. So my passphrase is wall load aunt zoo all lowercase with no spaces. So I click on create key store, import key store, and now I need to reinsert that passphrase. So it's wall load aunt zoo. Here we can see that. I click on okay and apply. I'm not gonna set a password. And if I go to my transactions tab, there we will see the Bitcoin is in this wallet because I have the correct seed and I have the correct passphrase. Now let me close all of these wallets and demonstrate one more thing to you. If I go ahead and open the original Bitcoin wallet I created called Passphrase Wallet, it's going to ask me for my passphrase each time I open this wallet. Now what you will notice here is a master fingerprint and as I type, that fingerprint changes. Now the reason for this is that every single thing I type here will create a perfectly valid Bitcoin wallet and every single Bitcoin wallet has a master fingerprint. Now what you should do with your passphrase is write down the correct fingerprint. So for example, if I type out my passphrase, wall load aunt zoo, here we can see my master fingerprint. As soon as I see that, I know it's correct. So I click on okay. And here we will see my Bitcoin is inside this wallet. And there we go, that is Bitcoin passphrases.